Hey, what's good, folks? So this is my game as England or Britain. Uh, even though it's really Britain uh, in the diplomacy parlance, it usually just goes as England, the same way the Ottoman Empire goes as Turkey. Uh, so yeah, I'm just probably gonna refer to as it refer to it as England. So um, England ain't my favorite game to play as. Uh, the favorite or favorite country to play as. My favorite country is definitely like France, then Russia. And probably Austria, Germany, somewhere, uh, with Italy and Turkey being behind England, but England's probably like number five. So, um, all right, so I'm England, so what am I doing? Uh, most general opening moves are Edinburgh to Norwegian Sea, London to North Sea, and then the Liverpool Army to either Edinburgh or York to convoy to either Belgium or Norway. Um... <clears throat> Uh, easiest goal as England first year is to take Norway. The only way you can't is if the Moscow army moves to St. Petersburg and you don't have two units here to support another one. So if you move both the fleets here, um, you can guarantee yourself to take it. So if you don't have a good relationship with Russia off the bat, then that's the safest option. Um, uh, in the meantime, the most common thing is to agree with France over a DMZ of English Channel that neither side goes in there. France usually wants to do it because they want to take, you know, Portugal or Spain with the fleet, so they're usually willing to do that. Um, so those are your two main people you want to talk to at the beginning, France and Russia. With uh, Germany kind of being a third, because uh, your secondary goal is England is usually the only other um, supply center available to, available to you other than Norway is Belgium. If Germany and France, or one of them, can agree to let you have it. So, uh, as I start thinking about my moves, I've talked to other people. So what do we talk to? How do we uh, get along with France early on? So I'm like, hi, what do you think about DMZ of English Channel? The most obvious thing. But he's like, I want to conquer Belgium. No, sorry for me. What? Okay. So I'm like, what the hell is France talking about? Uh, this doesn't look great. Not promising. Um, what do you mean by this? And he's like, doesn't answer. So I'm like, can we I just repeat myself? And he's like, sure. So I'm like, all right, France doesn't look promising. Let's try Germany. Oh, that's a lot better. He's like, yeah, I'm interested in uh, working together in Scandinavia and the Low Countries. So Germany sounds a lot more promising than France. How about Russia? Good stuff. Yeah, he's like, sure, Russia-England alliance. So I feel good about Russia and Germany, bad about France. So I decide to go out on a limb, and I just go to English Channel. Um, worst case scenario, we bounce, if he, uh, decides to go back on his agreement as well. Best case scenario, I can, uh, <clears throat> put the army down in Wales, and potentially convoy somewhere on the, uh, French coast. Meanwhile, I'm, uh, pretty sure that Russia's not gonna screw me over in Norway, which he doesn't, so one unit, one fleet in Norwegian Sea or North Sea does the trick. North Sea is just better, so I moved to North Sea. So that's what happened there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but Germany's going after France. Good. Italy's going after France. Good. No conflict between Italy and Austria. This looks just like a Russia-Turkey alliance, but I don't care about that right now. <clears throat> so, here's what happens. Uh, here's my discussion with France. Now, Belgium, to me, does not look like I can take it, right? Even if Germany, like, says he's going to help me into it, like, he could very easily just be lying. So, my whole idea here is I want to take Brest, um, as opposed to Belgium. And I'm going to make it seem very obvious to everyone involved, involved that uh, I want to take Belgium. So, <clears throat> so, I'm like, sorry, you just didn't sound reliable. Germany sounded much more reliable. Sorry, France. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, all right, I'm moving on Belgium, so... Yeah. 
Um, but I'm here trying to just be like trying to work something out with you so he doesn't expect me to like just go into breast, which is what I'm trying to do. So I'm talking about how like, oh yeah, we can work together or something. Um, then with Germany, I'm like, yeah, I, I'm going to Bell, so can you support me to Bell? Um, and he's like, who should I support? And I'm like, Wales. Um, just ideas, everyone involved, because I don't know if these two are talking to each other. Um, I don't know if Germany's just going to take Belgium himself, which he very well, like, just could force here, because he knows England, or he's not, he knows France and I aren't working together against Belgium. So he could block me off. Uh, well, he knows North Sea is going to Norway, so that's not in the picture. And I only have one unit here, so I, if he wants to take Belgium, I can't stop him, basically. So I'm figuring here it'd be much better if I could just go Brest, because if France, if Germany's lying, then I'm not going to get to Belgium anyway, and I'm wasting this. If he's telling the truth, well, I figure like this is better anyway, if, if neither of them suspect I'm going to it. So I do go for it. Germany does support me, but uh, France is fooled, and so I take Brest. Um, and France doesn't cover Marseille, which is just, like, even better. Um, yeah. So, uh, first year, I managed to grab Norway, and I managed to grab Brest. Um, it's about as good a start as you can ask for as England. So, uh, Germany, though, is a little mad. Um, I try to sell it. Which I think is generally true, that, like, this is a better option for both of us. Because it's like, if I was in Belgium, then he's, then I'm just kind of, like, in the middle of his whole stuff here, you know? So I'm like, this, this is better, and but he's not really buying it. And he's like, your, your loyalty, though, is still to be proven. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So I build two fleets because, um, yeah, I'm England. I need fleets. However... Look at this baby. Ooh, what's brewing here? A south coast Russia fleet. That's hostile only to Germany. So I had a discussion with Russia about this. Uh, I was talking to him a bunch, and I just sent this randomly uh, to him. This is not randomly. It's like in a long string of communications. So, like, basically, in this position, I kind of need to choose who I'm going to work with here. Because... I'm afraid that if Russia builds North Coast, he has to build both of them. If he builds an army or he builds a fleet North Coast, uh, he can attack Norway and I've, there's nothing I can do about it. And that forces me into the German camp. I don't really want to be in the German camp because, um, like, then I can only really expand down here and then, you know, then I have to deal with this too. So, like, my strategic axis, axes are, like, here, here, and then just the center is totally vulnerable to Germany and totally dependent upon him. So, uh, I'm trying to be... I and, and he's expecting me to support him into Sweden. Right? Yeah. He's like, he says this here. Um, so, now or never is when I have to choose a side. And I prefer Russia for those reasons. Um... So I, I tell Russia, like, uh, if you build a South Coast fleet, I'm happy to coordinate you, with you uh, this year for a bunch of reasons. And he buys it. He's willing to do it. So at this point, I'm committed against Germany. So first year, I committed myself against France. Took one center. And the second year, I'm committing myself against Germany. So <laughs> I'm this whole game, I bite off, like, a, I feel like just about as much as I can chew, and it somehow manages to work itself out. So, pretty clear here. I mean, I'm like, yeah, Germany, you can take Belgium now. Um, meanwhile, I get lucky. France doesn't screw me over here, so I just grab Paris. Um, <clears throat> Germany was expecting me to support him to Sweden here. I don't. I moved to Skagerrak because I'm with Russia now. Um, and Germany's all mad. Er, no, that's not what this says. Yeah, this is just showing. This is just showing how um, how he's expecting me to support him into uh, Sweden. Um, so in this position, I, I've you know just protect. I guarantee to have Paris unless Germany coordinates with France, which he doesn't. And uh, this move guarantees Paris, and that I protect uh, Brest. Um, 
Now, I, was, I didn't know exactly what Russia was going to do here, so he moved out of Sweden, which allowed Germany to go into Sweden. So this Skagrak unit now needs to move back, but I'm attacking Denmark so that Russia can guaranteed take Sweden back. And he also takes Bel uh, Berlin because um, <clears throat> uh, Germany's got no support. He's got nothing there. Meanwhile, what the hell is Italy doing? Um, yeah, Italy's... <laughs> Italy just randomly stabs Austria. He's not talking this entire time. Like, he sent me one message at the beginning, which, which, which was just a response, like, yeah, we can work together eventually. Um, so I don't know what the hell he's doing here, um, but he just takes Trieste for some reason. Um, so I build another fleet after I took Paris. Russia builds an army. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, like... Yeah, this this is this is my message to Italy. Just like good stuff. Oh, if you didn't. Yeah, this is when he took Marseille the first time. And I'm like, would you want to split uh, Portugal and Spain? And he's just not responding. This this was probably around this time, um, because you know, right here he needs me to to do something here if he wants to take this stuff. But he's not talking to me, so I'm just playing defensive here, preventing this army from going into Gascony and threatening this stuff while. Paris, Burgundy, move in. Same thing with IRC to Eng, English Channel. Um, so right here, yeah, I defend Sweden, perfectly fine. Um, and Russia supports North Sea to Denmark, so awesome. That's my build this year. Um, and at this moment, Germany just seems to give up the ship. He's just like, fuck you, England. So he goes Belgium to Picardy, Ruhr to Burgundy, just to screw me over. Um, move Gascony back just to prevent the fleet from getting there. Um, but I managed to take Belgium via this, which, you know, he, he could have defended it if he chose to. Uh, support Russia to Kiel, which is fine by me, which, the fine, fine that it fails, but he takes Munich as well. So I, I get Denmark and Belgium, so pretty good stuff. Uh, while Austria takes Trieste back because Italy didn't move this army to Tyrol, which he should have done if he actually hoped to defend this. So, there's no defense for this because Italy's bad and you know, moves this back because he banged up against the wall. Like, didn't ask, like, didn't ask me for support this time, which I might have given. Probably not. I probably would have wanted to go to mid first, but he's not communicating. So, sucks. Um, yeah, meanwhile, Austria and Russia are clearly working together here against Turkey. <clears throat> so, whoa! In this position, adjustment 1903. I see this. I see Germany burn Finland. I see him burn Holland. I see him burn Kiel and keep these two. So now I'm worried that he's talking with Russia, and and Russia and Germany are going to screw me. Um, meanwhile, I see like I see Germany collapsing. And I'm collapsing, and I'm trying to think of what's going to happen. I'm trying to think continuation. What happens after Germany's dead? Do Russia and I fight? Can I get the edge on him? Um, so here's what Russia and I are trying to figure out right here. Um, trying to figure out what are you going to do on the border? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm worried. I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah, he wants to move his fleet here to Finn to just to DMZ it. Trying to, like, we're both seeing if we want to, like, move troops away from it so we don't attack each other. And I'm like, yeah, I definitely want to keep the peace. Um, and just thinking about um, what's going to happen here. But we agree. I'm, I'm happy that he doesn't build in St. Petersburg. He builds in Warsaw instead. So that was part of what I was trying to get to happen here, was that he wouldn't build in St. Petersburg. Um, however, I go for it. <laughs> I attack Sweden immediately. So, <laughs> so now I've pissed off Germany, France, and Russia. Um, because I think, because I see this, and I'm just like, oh, that's, Germany's just going to, you know, throw it for Russia here. Um, meanwhile, Russia does do what he says. No bounce in Sweden. He said no bounce in Sweden. He moves Sweden to Finland. Um, but I take Sweden here. Meanwhile, I move this army in Belgium to Ruhr, because, yeah, it helps attack Kiel. Cut here. Um... I've got nothing to protect Paris, so I'm just like, I'm thinking, abandon it, you know? 
There's nothing I can do. I've, you know, protect Brest, but abandon Paris for now. Um, yeah, and try to get armies in into play here. Uh, so, yeah. But, like, I can't really defend both Denmark and Sweden here against Russia. So, what happens here is I'm trying to play it off. Like, shit, you were being honest. Fuck, I'm sorry. It's like saying that, you know, saying it was my fault, and I thought, like, trying to say that the only reason I attacked him was because I thought he was attacking me. So that way I feel like I have an out. So what I propose here is that, um... Yeah, so I'm, like, so giving him a way to attack Sweden. Um, he can take Sweden back, but I need to do a move that ensures that I'm able to keep both of these. So I say, yeah, I'm going to leave Sweden, attack Denmark. That way, you know, if he supports himself into Denmark here, uh, he can't support himself to Denmark and Sweden at the same time, so I'm good here. Uh, I don't think we talked about this bounce, but it was also just kind of like another thing like, you know, <laughs> if he covers it, he covers it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. And this, um, I don't know if I mentioned. I mentioned it later. Uh, but yeah, so here's my com conversation with Germany, though, because I'm trying to, like, just get him. Okay, you're, you're going to be on my side now. So, like, initially just asking him, was he coordinating with Russia? No, he was not. Um... But I'm saying, okay, well, you you got Paris. Um, you're not going to get anything else. Because um, I've got this covered. I've got this covered. Um, and saying, if you want to go to Burgundy, I will support you into, into Munich. And he's like, well, what do I gain? Um, and I'm like, what do you mean? He's just not a star center. And I'm like, um... I can support you into Munich if you go there. So, but eventually he does agree to do it. So, yay! <laughs> um, yeah. So in this position, it's like okay, like it's it's basically war with Russia, but both like he. I'm trying to keep him thinking that like you see that so that that like okay, we can reset now. Uh, I'm happy to reset here. Um, and this was before the build. Um, and eventually, it just gets him to agree to build in Warsaw. Which, um... Yeah, good. Um, yeah, because I was just like, you know, I'm worried about your alliance with Austria. I want to go south, but I feel like it's a really dangerous position. Nah, 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 nah. Um, and I'm just trying to play off it like, yeah, I didn't... I wasn't intending to attack you there. It was mainly just because I was afraid. So... He does build in Warsaw, and that, that's all I need, because I, cause, cause, cause I can do this. I got a tiniest of advantages here, and I'm like, okay, I, I, I got to push. See? Like, okay, so... Um, yeah. Figuring he won't go to Skagorak, and if I bounce him in St. Petersburg, then I've got Sweden, which is what happens. Meanwhile, uh... Yeah, I, I did support uh, Germany to Munich. Russia did support Ruhr to, Bur uh, to Burgundy. I didn't take the Russian support because I'm attacking him. And Germany uh, didn't. Do you want it back? Do you not want it back? And he's like, I thought it'd be better in the fall. Which, you know, we did not discuss. So I'm just like, fuck. So I'm asking again for the fall, are you actually going to take the support? And he's like, yeah, I am. And so I'm like, okay, I'm supporting. Which I'm not, because, like, if he actually attacks Munich, then I have Kiel. And I don't know if he's going to do that, so I'm not going to waste time. Plus, Kiel could theoretically attack Roar, not that it would. But, like, I have no reason to trust him here, so... <laughs> He's like, lul. Uh, so I'm just like, yeah, dude, that's that's what happens. <laughs> like, like, sorry. But uh, I, I had no reason to trust you there, and if you actually did it, I would take Kiel. So I'll support you next time if you don't, like, attack Belgium. So, but I get this local superiority here. So I'm able to take Sweden, lose Denmark, but take Kiel. So I plus one right here. 
Um, meanwhile, Italy's back. Not really back. It's a replacement player. But I like I just got these French folks down here who are just a pain, and I can't really do anything about them because I got to devote everything I got to this. So it's good that Italy's back because um, yeah. Initially, the first thing I said was, "Why don't you go to West?" This was in the spring, where he goes from Tyranian to Gulf of Lyon, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, I say to Italy here, go go to West so that you can support me, and then I'll support you." Meanwhile, he moves us back, but whatever. So like in this phase, though. Yeah, I'm like, go to West, go to Pi, and yes, I will support you, and we'll get rid of this, and we'll split this, and get rid of this. Okay, so, yeah, so I'm plus one here against Russia. This is a long slog, but it works out. So I build myself a fleet. He burns this, because he's allied with Russia, uh, Austria, and yeah, Austria's no problem. He doesn't need this. Uh, plus, he's going to be able to destroy Turkey here. They're, they're going to, they got him. Um... Well, Italy can just kind of hold right here. So, um, yeah, so Germany is working with me. Um, I leave this open just because I figure Kiel's got to retreat. I can't hold this. But um, the most critical move right here, I think, is this Sweden to Finland. I was pretty sure he was going to move St. Petersburg to Finland. And by doing this, I can ensure that Norway's safe uh, from, you know, two folks here, um, and that Sweden only has one adjacent in Baltic, so I was pretty confident that this would work, and this turned out to be crucial, because um, I moved my fleets into Heligoland Bight in North Sea, um, and this puts me in a good position against Denmark, so I can squeeze the Russian fleets right here. Uh, meanwhile, Italy supports me to Mid-Atlantic, and uh, France doesn't bounce Marseille. So that's great, because otherwise it would have taken a little longer. Um, so yeah, that means uh, I'm going to attack Portugal and Italy's going to take Spain. So, you know, at this point I'm thinking like, okay, I'm against Russia and Austria and I need Italy on my side. Plus, you know, that one German unit. So, yep, I retreat to Ruhr. And uh, right here, so yeah, I've got Denmark and I've got the squeeze on this Russian fleet, who's got one, two, like three defenders. Meanwhile, I would have one, two, three, four against Kiel, plus uh, this, which works, because he uh, uh, basically had to choose here. He's got Berlin. Um, Berlin could defend Munich or Kiel, since I was attacking this, attacking Kiel twice with these two, oopsies, um, and cutting this support so that Berlin is either going to have to defend Kiel or Munich. Couldn't do both. So, this gets Germany Munich! Huzzah! Um, meanwhile, this allows uh, Finland and... Finland! Or the St. Petersburg into Finland, which is annoying, but I can deal with it. It's easier to deal with now than it would have been earlier. Uh, so we're even here. Uh, he, uh, he loses Denmark. I lose Kiel, but I gain a position here. Well, oh, no, he, he loses Munich, too. But he <laughs> captures Ankara. So he's at zero. I'm at zero. Yeah. Um, and this happens, so that's good. Uh, this sucks, though, this army retreat. Um, but luckily, uh, he just burns it. It would have been freaking annoying, but he burns it. So that makes things a lot easier. Thank you, France. Um, so in this position, Italy supports me into Portugal. Whoopee! Um... Yeah, I was kind of like, you know, I might need to support you in to Portugal, or maybe you could support me in, but we settled on that, so, like, thank you. Um, now, in this position, yeah, so I'm able to take Kiel here, destroy this fleet, because there's a bounce here, because there's a bounce here, um, and uh, Denmark goes to Baltic, which cuts this off. Uh, so Munich's just going to have to retreat. Um, meanwhile, lose Sweden, and I retreat to Gulf of Bothnia. And I thought that was... I was considering Skagrak for a long time, but this one's better just because it like looks so obvious that I'm going to do something against St. Petersburg, and guess what? I do nothing. Yep, so he supports himself into St. Petersburg here, thinking that I'm going to support myself to St. Petersburg, 
and if he can get a build there, if I if we bounce St. Petersburg and he can get a Navy build and like North Coast, that would suck. Um, so I totally throw him for a loop right here. Um, take Sweden back. He could have defended it, but he he guessed wrong. So that's Bothnia came in strong right there. Uh, meanwhile, I'm like, you know, the the idea is just like, okay, I'm going to support Germany back into Munich, right? That's the obvious thing. But I'm like, wait a minute, go to Gal because Galicia is freaking awesome here, like totally behind their lines. And he's like, you know, the same old stupid, I will gain nothing of going to Gal. Um, but like, I'm selling him the whole here. It's just like, okay, well, your what you're getting out of this is survival. Like, you're not going to be in a draw, but, like, I don't think you really understood um, that, like, okay, yeah, well, I can take Paris wherever I want, but I'm not gonna, so long as, um, so long as, you know, you're incredibly useful, and also I'm just like, yeah, you know, I like to help people survive, because it's no skin off my back, and, like, it, it means in future games people who are lost or willing to work with me, then, yeah, I'm willing to uphold it. So, uh, yeah... Yeah, you know, I'm like, yeah, it's super useful, and uh, I like to honor survival agreements. So he's just like, okay, I'll do it. So I'm just like, word. So I grab Munich, Berlin, and Kiel. Hello. <laughs> Thanks to uh, this Piedmont cutting in uh, Tyrolia, I think. I think that's what that is. Yep, so that's pretty good stuff right here. So look at this. Gorgeous. Um, yep, yeah. build these two fleets to cut this navy off. I need more armies, though. Um, so yeah, the fleet gets into Norway, but who cares? I managed to destroy the Finnish army here, or the Russian army in Finland. Meanwhile, this cool little convoy from Kiel to Livonia totally gets behind him, and just, just like, I feel like this is a com common convoy that just is always awesome. Because, you know, it doesn't look obvious, you know, but it's, like, adjacent to three Russian centers. Meanwhile, you know, this army's doing its work by just occupying these two. Um, it goes into Ukraine, gets even further behind. Um, meanwhile, at this point, I'm thinking, like, okay, well, what do I need to win? I, I'm at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So... I need four more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess these are all in reach. So right now, I just want to keep Italy on side as long as possible. Um, so that I can grab this stuff. And then if he just doesn't adjust, I can just grab literally Paris and Marseille or Spain and Tunis or whatever. And right here, he's allowing me to move this fleet into support him which is great, because he's like, you know, none the wiser. I'm just like, yeah, I, I can help you if you want, which, you know, I could, and I do, but it's like also totally able to take anything whenever it wants. So, yeah, if you can get your allies to let you move your units, like, right next to their centers, <laughs> yeah, it's worth doing. <laughs> um, yeah, so this, ar this yeah, they, he can't defend this, uh, he can't defend this, so... Yeah, bye-bye. I take Norway back. I take St. Petersburg. He's got no defense. Meanwhile, you know, Germany's kind of insisting that I support him. Because, whatever. So, yeah, I'm like, whatever. Sure, I'll support you to Moscow, which doesn't work because he cuts it. If he, I was like, yo, you could support me to Moscow instead, and it would guaranteed work. But he was like, nah, support me. I was like, okay, why not? Um, meanwhile, you know, I'm supporting Italy here just because... Yeah, you're my ally. I kind of gotta. Uh, if I'm definitely gonna do, if I'm not gonna do anything else, um, and I don't really want to advance here, just because I've got two armies, so can't do much. And I want to make sure I'm able to defend Munich because you know, if you get into Munich, they can get to a into everything behind it, and it just just becomes a mess. So, um, yep, yeah, I grant you grab Saint Petersburg. I get two builds because I think I took four the previous round. Yeah, so that that happens. Uh, Russia has a build, I guess, because I destroyed that army. Um, I don't know. Yeah, he has a build for some reason. Maybe he took that. I don't know. Um, 
But at this point, I just got a clear advantage right here. Um, support him to uh, Warsaw because he just whatever. Because you know, I need to. It's it's not gonna work anyway, just because there are two units here, and that's all I got. But I'm moving this army up. Um, trying to move here, but they block it. This was a good move, I thought, because I was I was trying to like destroy this army, hoping it would do like attack. Livonia or something, because it was defended. Um, but yeah, they, they pulled back wisely, and they saved that army from destruction. Um, yeah, and Italy here is getting word from Austria, at least, maybe Russia too. Ru Austria says to Italy, where do you think you would send the new troops? He is me. So, Austria is trying to convince Italy that I'm going to stab him, which I would never do. Honestly, I would never stab Italy. Um, and that Italy needs to work with Austria and Russia to prevent me from winning. Uh, and Italy's just like feeling a bit jealous that I'm their second choice, so I'm indulging that hella. Uh, desperate times call for desperate measures for them, you know, because because we emphasis on we are gonna destroy them, and I'm totally not gonna just stab you at the last moment. Um, yeah, and he's just like, yeah, this doesn't amount to anything. It doesn't matter. Italy stays on side. And I move into Tyranian, which is even cooler. Um, yeah, I set myself up to destroy that army. Uh, destroy that fleet in Skagarak. Um, they destroy the German army in Ukraine. Which, I don't really care. Germany's just been a pain. But, yeah. Rip Germany. Meanwhile, like... They let me into Moscow somehow, for some reason. Uh, I don't know what that was. I think later, at the, near the end of the game, Russia said that they were trying to like give ground to me to make the threat more apparent to Italy, but Italy just didn't bite. So right here, um, I totally was not expecting this to happen. Um, but... Yeah, so I take Moscow for the price of Germany's existence, which I would definitely take again. Um, <laughs> because uh, he was just like, well, what's in it for me? I'm like, y you get to live. Like, <laughs> what do you want? Like, at that, at that moment when I was gonna, when I told him to move to Gal, I was like half thinking like, okay, do it, or I'm just gonna take Paris from you. But luckily he just agreed to it, because, yeah. Um... Yeah, so I took Moscow, which is which is great. Um, right here, I'm just moving the armies around Munich to Berlin, just to you know set myself up to take Warsaw, convoy this army in. Um, yeah, uh, which I do because yeah, he just abandoned this for the same reason I mentioned earlier. Russia just abandoned this because, you know, he's trying to make the threat apparent to Italy. Because they do definitely need it, Italy, if they're going to stop me. So, like, if they defended all this, after a matter of time, it would just not be enough anyway. So, it's like, they get Italy on their side or they lose and I win. So, yeah, this is just doubling down. So, but it lets me take Warsaw, which is cool. Um, and... This is basically the end because uh, this uh, I'm at 16 right now, so I need two more. One, two, one, you know, two. And at this point, I was like wondering, like, oh, should I just try to delay this by like bouncing here and then just moving Burgundy down to Gascony, like to try and get you know 19, 20? But man, I mean, because this is totally secure right here. Um, I don't know, there was one way, like, they could break through somewhere up here, but, yeah, I just didn't want to deal with it, so, <laughs> yeah, GG, I win, that was cool, it was fun, okay, bye. <laughs>